Welcome back to Security Onion Essentials. In this session, we're going to begin the installation process for Security Onion. We'll download and verify the ISO, and then install it on a virtual machine. In the next session, part two, we'll run through the Security Onion setup. Let's go ahead and get started. The best place to start is our website. If you open a browser and go to securityonion.com download, you'll be forwarded to this GitHub repository where you can download the ISO. This is a large file, so I'm going to click the link now and then pause the recording while the ISO file downloads to my computer. And we're back. The download is finished, and now we're going to check the hash and the signature on the ISO to make sure that it hasn't been modified or corrupted in transit. Please note that I'm doing this on a Windows desktop, so the command line syntax is a little different than it would be on a Linux or macOS workstation. First, we check the hash with certutil and make sure that it matches the hash posted on the download site. As you can see, the hash value computed by certutil matches the hash value that we've posted here on our website, so the file was not corrupted or tampered with in transit. Now, we can download and import the signing key and signature and check to make sure that the signature on the ISO is valid. Please note that if you want to do the signature check, you'll need to install GPG on your Windows computer. First, we'll download the signing key from the Security Onion GitHub repository. Then, we'll import that signing key into our GPG keychain. Then, we'll download the signature file for the ISO. And finally, we can check the signature and make sure that it matches. As you can see, the output says good signature, and also the primary key fingerprint here matches the one on the GitHub page. This ISO is valid and ready to be used. Now we can proceed to the installation guide. There are two options for installing Security Onion locally. You can either use the ISO image that we just downloaded, or if you prefer, you can do a network installation on top of an existing Linux server. For this video, we're going to use the ISO image. If you'd prefer to do a network installation, the instructions for that are here in our documentation. You can follow that and then join us again in the next video where we go through the setup process. Let's click on the hardware requirements link and see what sort of specs we need for an eval installation of Security Onion. As you can see here under minimum specs, the requirements for an eval mode installation are 8 gigs of RAM, 4 CPU cores, and 200 gigs of storage. We're also going to need two network interfaces, one for managing the Security Onion node via the web browser, and one for monitoring traffic. Please note that these are minimum specs. The more traffic you want to monitor and the more logs you want to ingest, the more resources you'll need to dedicate to the platform. Now that we know the specs we need, let's build a virtual machine to deploy Security Onion onto. I'm going to use VMware Workstation for this demo, but any common hypervisor should work. If you run into issues with your virtual machine platform of choice, check our documentation to see if there are any known issues and workarounds there. We'll create a new virtual machine. Next. Select our ISO. Next. It's Linux. We're going to name this virtual machine SO eval. Next. We'll set the disk to 200 gigs because that's the minimum from the hardware requirements page. And we need to customize the hardware. We'll bump the memory up to eight gigs. We'll set two processors, two cores each, so that we have the four processor cores we need. Our first network adapter will remain on NAT. That'll be our management interface. We're going to add a second network adapter to act as our monitoring interface, and that one we'll just set as hosts only so that we can feed some data into it from the local machine. Okay, that's all done. Close. Finish. And then we can power on our virtual machine.
The first thing the installer asks us is whether we wish to continue. This will wipe out all data on this VM's drive, which is fine because it's a brand new virtual disk with no data on it. Type yes to continue. Next, you'll be prompted to create an administrative account. This is the operating system level account that you'll use if you need to log into a command shell on the Security Onion server. Just to be clear, this is not the same as the accounts used to log into the Security Onion web console. We'll cover setting those up in the next session. Let's call this account Analyst and assign it a password. Now the automated install will begin. The disk will be partitioned and formatted appropriately, and the base Security Onion image will be installed and configured. This process takes a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause the recording now while it completes. After the install completes, you'll be prompted to press Enter to reboot. After the VM reboots, we can start on the setup and configuration process for Security Onion. Join us in the next video to continue.